This picture illustrates the view of the steering wheel from the left side of the car. Turn on the ignition key and position the steering wheel 90 degrees either left or right from straight ahead. In this picture, we have rotated the steering wheel 90 degrees to the right. Using a T30 torque long socket with a ratchet and extension, loosen the fastener mounted inside the steering wheel through the access hole on the back of the steering wheel. The fastener is captive in the steering wheel and will remain in the housing for installation. Turn the ignition on and remove the steering wheel to the straight ahead position. This picture illustrates the right side of the spare tire in the trunk. Disconnect the negative battery terminal, green arrow, of the battery and allow the car to sit for at least a half hour before attempting the next few steps. This photo illustrates the back side of the steering wheel. Flip down the airbag to expose the three electrical connectors. The green connector, green arrow, and the yellow connector, yellow arrow, are for the airbag. The black connector, red arrow, is for the steering wheel switches. Release the yellow and green connector locks. The image shows the locks released. Using a flathead screwdriver, lever up on the connectors to remove them from the airbag. To remove the black connector, use your finger to push in the locking tabs, red arrow, and pull the connector in the direction of the blue arrow. Place the airbag assembly facing upwards in a safe place until you are ready to install it. I do not recommend leaving it on the floorboards of the car or anywhere inside the car while you are working. Locate the steering wheel fastener as indicated by the green arrow. Use a 10 mm Allen head socket on a breaker bar and remove the steering wheel fastener. Do not use the ignition lock switch to hold the wheel while breaking the nut loose. Have a friend hold the wheel. This picture illustrates a close-up look of where the steering wheel is mounted to the steering column shaft. Note the arrows on the steering wheel, green arrows, should line up with the lines on the steering column shaft, yellow arrows. You will install the steering wheel with these marks lined up properly. Pull the steering wheel off of the steering column shaft. You will not be able to fit all of the electrical connectors through the access hole at the same time. Route one connector at a time out of the steering wheel and put it in a safe place. With the steering wheel off of the steering column, be careful not to let the airbag clock spring rotate at all while you have the steering wheel off the car. The correct position for the clock spring is pictured here where you can see the three mounting fasteners. Indicated by the green arrows, and the arrows align with the marks on the steering wheel, red arrows. Installation is the reverse of the removal steps. Route the three electrical connectors one at a time through the steering column access hole and fit the wheel onto the steering column shaft with the lines and arrows lined up. Install and tighten the fasteners. Plug the three electrical connectors into the respective ends and fit the airbag in place on the steering wheel. Tighten the two captive fasteners inside the back of the steering wheel. Reconnect the battery and start the car. Turn the steering wheel from left to right and make sure there is full rotation in both directions and no noises coming from the steering column. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.